Hey guys, how you doing? This is Margaret Sector and I'm here to bring the review for One Piece episode 961, I do believe the episode is. Fun fact, this is actually my second take recording this. What happened to the first take, you asked? I did not hit the record button. So now I've got to go through all of this again, but I do not mind because this episode was great. So the first half of this episode, we was covering the disapproval. Yeah, because Shogun does disapprove. But basically, the um, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, Odin has to leave the capital because of the whole incident with the mountain, the mountain god, if you will. He gets the blame, he takes the blame for it, he gets the blame for it, and Shogun's had enough, so he therefore has to leave the capital. But before we get all of that, before Odin has to leave the capital, we do see some good Tish. We actually do see some good Tish, and now I'm going to talk about that now. So the first good Tish that we get within this episode is the Kinemon stuff. That's him worrying about his friend, his, at the time of this flashback, his future wife, and him fighting the boar. And now, me personally, I am not the biggest fan of Kinemon. I don't hate him, but I don't love him or like him either. I am really on the fence when it comes to this character, but this episode had me, you know, thinking, oh, maybe I might need to dip onto the like side of things, because simply... What we see through Kingdomon in this episode, just seeing it, hearing his voice acting, uh, the black back, 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 oh, the background music that they used, and like the little snippets of flashbacks for the throne in here and there, I'm starting to feel for my boy, for my boy. Oh, he's not my boy, but I'm starting to feel for Kingdomon. I was even rooting for him at times when he was fighting the boar. I was like, yes, Kingdomon, go for it, go for it. The bit where he's lying on the floor and he's crying and he's reaching for his sword. And I was, I was feeling all of it. Uh, like I said for just a second ago, I was actually rooting for the guy, but unfortunately. He didn't come out on top, <laughs> unfortunately. But after that, after he had his chance to shine, to save his wife, to fail to save his wife, that's when we get the good tish, the real, the real, real good tish, the good stuff. When Odin comes up and he stances up and he attacks, that segment alone deserves a five star rating. That segment alone deserves a five star rating. The OG fans of the channel would know about the shooting star rating. That's the true rating for that segment of the episode, shooting star. That's when your mind is blown and you just can't take it no more. Because the hype is real for that moment. The hype is really real for that moment. When I watched that scene, I had to do a double take because it was that good. You know when you're just there bouncing in your seat going, oh, that was me during that time. It was good. It was really good. And that's all I'm going to say about it because, you know, the memes, the gifts, they're probably already out. They're probably already out. They're probably in circulation already because that was the, that was the, by far, the best bit of the episode. Animation was on point. Everything good. Just the hype, the hype of that attack as well. I don't remember it being that, that day in the manga. I re honestly do not remember it being that day in the manga. So, boy. If you're just doing, if you're doing that much with just that, when you get to the really, really good stuff, ooh, we're in trouble. We're in serious trouble when it comes to the really good stuff. One thing that I did notice about the attack within this episode though, that it wasn't reeled up. Not that that's a problem. It's just something I noticed. Maybe he hasn't learned it yet. Maybe he isn't capable of it yet at this present moment of time. It's just something that I noticed and I thought I'd mention. Uh, another thing about this bit of the episode is that you really get to see the gap between Kinemon and Odin at this time because Kinemon was struggling for their life. But we have Odin on the other hand, <clears throat> came through, one hit KO, boy. But anyway, after that half of the episode, and he gets exiled, that's the word I was bloody looking for. 
he gets exiled from the capital that's when we see him go on his journey and basically the rest of the episode is just him meeting his people and now personally i thought personally sorry i expect a lot of filler stuff to be added within this arc and in all honesty this was a good chance a good chance and a good place to start adding it just adding to the scenes where for example he meets Conjuro, just extending that bit those bits a bit further but i'm glad they didn't because i personally feel like that would make the arc the flashback sorry drag and so for now the pacing of the flashback is really good um is, we're moving at a very nice pace the second half of the episode is just basically him meeting his, some of his people and then walking along that's really what it really was and the episode ends off with odin coming face to face with Asha doji and now i don't it definitely doesn't feel like they've added anything to the flashback yet but i think that this is the perfect place to start adding things to the flashback and what i'm talking about here is that i don't watch the previews for the next episode so i don't know if it's coming or not but Odin and Asha Doji are gonna fight I think that this is the perfect time to start adding things add to this fight I think that this fight should be at least half an episode if it's and if it's gonna be good and good choreo, good choreographed fighting then make it a full episode but I think that this is the perfect start perfect place sorry <laughs> to start adding stuff uh other than that only one other thing I want to mention is that we get to see Kinemon, I mean not Kinemon, well yeah he's in the episode but that's not what I meant. We get to see Orochi and Yasui for the first time within this episode and we get to just basically see, we'll start to see I should say rather, just where Orochi comes from because he's literally started from the bottom and we know he's going. He's on his way to the top. So it's kind of nice to see where he's come from because we see him as a servant but we also see that he's probably been snaky from birth so yeah everything i've got to say about this episode i do believe it deserves a four star rating and I'm call it a review like always guys Moscow for your thoughts and opinions if you haven't already please subscribe to my youtube channel but most importantly take care have a nice day